we need to have a serious talk. But not here, it's too public. It's becoming increasingly clear to me that a lot of faculty think that their emails are somehow private communications. Obviously, emails should never be considered private communication, not just because of the fact that they can be forwarded and copied, but also because of the fact if you work at an institution that receives any sort of state or federal support, your emails are probably considered public record, are going to be subject to record retention laws, and also subject to sunshine or freedom of information requests. Think that can't happen? Well, think again. It's happened numerous times. There was a case of a professor at a Midwestern uh, university not that long ago uh, was doing something outside of her teaching, of her service, uh, got involved with a student protest, became very controversial. And uh, there was a lot of scorn heaped on this particular professor. And to add insult to injury, the Chronicle of Higher Education, uh, in a particularly shitty move, uh, used the state's freedom of information request laws to get a hold of all of her incoming inbox, all the hate mails, all the letters of support, and what she was sending out as well. So those were all considered public record. So don't ever, ever put anything in an email that you wouldn't be comfortable seeing on the front page.